Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about uh, Assembly Hell and uh, Revit 25. And because Revit now is net core, is running with net 8, we have access to this class, Assembly Load Contacts. Yeah, this could fix uh, Assembly Hell. But first, you can imagine uh, Revit is application with is a box with all the assemblies inside that. With the assembly load context, you can create your own box. So you can uh, uh, load any assembly inside your box, and you're not gonna have conflict with the main assemblies in the in the order box. So yeah, that's a way to explain, I guess. So and you can create your your box and load everything you want inside that uh, with any version and you're not gonna have any problem so you can have two applications running uh, two different uh, assemblies with different versions and you're not gonna have uh, a conflict uh, between the plugins so yeah that would be awesome but by default Revit uh, loads everything in the in the the full context that's the context id is zero so if you can look everything is zero 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 and if i go in the first plugin what is it let's see is here uh uh the revit adding visual studio debug yeah this one uh is context zero zero it is the y for that uh plugin and then I have the rev to look up that I was messing around and now I'm forcing this version zero but this one is version one it's id one actually and all this uh, is running inside uh, my context that I created just to make sure that I'm gonna load the version eight for the Microsoft extension hosting uh, dependent injection and yeah uh, but if I cannot run with version 8 in Revit 25, you need to use version 7 if you are running in the context 0. So, but yeah, but I'm running the in my own context. So, yeah, I can do whatever I want. So, yeah, it's working. Mm -hmm. It's working. Yeah. Code works like should be. I can snoop whatever I want. Can change to light and dark. Um, can add this in the modify if I want or not. Yeah, uh, and I'm creating my own version, version 4000. Yeah, um, yeah, it's working. Should be using this. Yeah, the code is really sketchy uh, because, yeah, you can see I need to, because Revit load in the default context, I need to create my own, uh, force to use that one. So yeah, every time Revit, uh, talk with my application i need to point to another one yeah it's really sketchy the code but it's working yeah uh would be ideal if you rev it by default uh or optional i don't know uh to load uh, the adding with each one with his own context so so you can do whatever you want inside that context so this would be the ideal world yeah, maybe next version. If she at the desk have some fun to do that. But yeah, uh, at the moment, this is just for testing. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look if I didn't find any strange problem with this. And probably gonna create a pull request, maybe. Don't know if it's a good idea. But yeah, this is uh, just a proof of concept to make, to test if this uh, assembly load context works to create your own uh, context, yeah, and your application. And load whatever you want in that, so yeah. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you don't forget to subscribe and give a like to this video, share, and see ya.